Seamus, not your amigos. The friends of our youth, they're the nails and hammers that build our character. I want to avoid a sexist statement here, but uh, I'm not sure many women, if any, could fully understand the deepest meaning of men streaking and mooning and vomiting and passing out together. It is truly a beautiful thing. It's a death rebirth thing. But for everything, there is a season. And for you, the leaves have started to turn. You have taken root. For you, this is the season of reaping and harvest. But your friends, they have their own cycles. And for them, at this time in their life, there is left much sowing to be done. I'm here. Good. I can't do this alone. Nobody can. So what do we do? Just talk. <laughs> what do we talk about? Anything you need to. Did you have a sponsor? Mm, six years. I... I just... I just want to be able to have one drink. Mm. <laughs> but I know I can't. Oh. This is really hard. We have all night. Sorry. Guys, I can never outgrow you two. You're part of me. If it hadn't been for you, I would have never lived through high school. If it hadn't been for you, I would have never moved down here in the first place. I need to stay here. You need to go to Africa. Don't be mad at me, okay? It's like having your own heart turn on you. You guys, you're my history. You're my roots.
you're the gentleman I introduced to the lady. What can I say? I'm so sorry. You sorry about what? <laughs> I'm new to this island. When I introduced you to the lady, I... The two of you together, laughing, talking, the music playing. I thought I'd done a wonderful thing. When the boy here told me who she is, I could have died of embarrassment. You must think I'm a, what do you call it, a pimp. Commander, please forgive me. I'm just an old fool. I thought she was a lady. Uh, no, it's okay. Sugar, you don't. Now, you've been very respectful of me. You've been very kind and honest. Now, I feel I have to be honest with you. Um. Wait. Wait. I want to tell you something first. This, um. Uh... Are you trying to tell me you're married? Yeah. I'm sorry. Forgive me for any pain that I may have caused you. You're so beautiful. What do you mean? I heard him. I saw the ring. Believe me, Sugar, I know a married man when I see one. He wasn't married. How you know that? No tan lines, baby. Oh, you mean from the ring? Mm. Oh, that's smart. Mm. Oh, my goodness, you mean he knew about you all the time? And he make up a story to spare your feelings. Well, I'll be. Remember him, baby. You won't see that often. He's the real thing. Well, this is it. Sure you won't come with us? Africa's a cool place. And you'll have to see it for me. Hey, if we're there, you're there. I learned that you never outgrow the people you love. You may move on, but you carry them with you. They are a part of you. You could no more leave them behind than you could leave behind your blood, or your bones, or your heart. Stay tuned for scenes from next week's Key West. Next Tuesday, there's a hurricane heading for paradise. Now you're going to find out what you're really made of. And there's only one thing to do. Party. A hurricane coming our way. Finally, a little excitement in this joint. Key West. This is not a time to drink. <laughs> An all-new episode after Class of 96, next Tuesday. 
Tomorrow, the action, the danger, the romance. You've seen Bond before, but never like this. Catch 007's most exciting adventure ever, License to Kill, the broadcast premiere tomorrow. And Thursday, she's the new queen of celebrity talk shows. But this dame ain't no lady. The incomparable Dame Edna hosts a full night of Fox comedies. Thursday, starting at 8, 7 central. Viacom.